So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record now. Eight wins, eight losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Shotgun. And now, if you see the champion fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 61 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Running out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, CM All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, here we go. UFC middleweight championship is on the line. All right, so here we go with round one. This man is a legend. He is close to retirement. Perhaps tonight will be the final time we see him inside the octagon. And if he can win a fight and take out a challenger like this, he could go down as the greatest of all time. CM Punk gets the tie clinch here. Oh, this is hurt to the body. You can tell that shot hurt bad. Change into the southpaw stance now, Joe. 
Oh, he got caught again by another devastating hook. He's found a home for that consistently in this round. Absolutely. Very good job of timing these shots here. How about that chin? Right hook to the head block. That's oh, a hard huge hook. hook. Beautiful Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Nasty combinations here. Oh! He locks up the tie clinch again. Oh, he's got double underhooks here in the clinch. Good spot. Oh! Slap! 30 seconds now to go in round one. Establish that jab. Good shot. These guys are just standing in front of each other and throwing bombs. Nice right hand. Horn sound for the end of round one. So mercifully, the round comes to an end. Multiple knockdowns there, maybe a 10 8, maybe even a 10 7. Huge round from CM Punk. Complete total dominance, and man, did he put a beating on his opponent. Amazing that the fight wasn't stopped. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. Here we see a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. The original. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, only round two. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering. Oh! The champion is in big trouble here. Oh! This could be it. Yeah, yeah these are, what did you say about my mother punches? Oh, he's going for it here. Big shot to the liver, he's stunned. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, those hooks have been his main weapons here tonight. His striking has never looked better to my amateur eyes, Joe. And you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen. He has been at his efficient best here tonight. Yep. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and the hook connects again here. He did a ton of damage with it in the previous round. Why get away from it if it's not broken? Takedown defense holds up. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by CM Punk. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice hook by CM Punk. There's another one. And we get separation now. Oh, huge block. And they clinch once again. Good punch. He lands an elbow here. Into side control again. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Side control now, there's that knee to the body. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. In the full guard. Big body punch. Switching stances here. CM Punk. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Back to Orthodox. Oh, what a body shot. Unbelievable. Before he got a huge knockdown, a great round from Brooks. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight.
Let's get a better look at it. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Let me show you the total strikes. to the head, instead it's blocked. He's hurt, big shot to the liver. He is stunned. Big, big body shot, shot body. Oh, oh the slam, Joe. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's got one leg in, in between him, so he's in half guard here. Round and pound strike there now. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. He's got him down here, and he's landing some horrifying combinations to the body. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Nice punch to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. CM Punk gets double underhooks, Joe. There he goes, moves to his back. Nice shot there, takes out landed by CM Punk. A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. We can see it one more time from a different angle. Ground and pound at its finest. And that is the shot that ends this fight. And here we see it again. And there is the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. of the 185 pounders there he is the undisputed ufc middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense and that's got to feel pretty good there were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some the celebration